The crypto markets are going absolutely crazy with multiple coins putting in 100x returns every single week. Imagine if you put just $100 into one of these coins and watched it go up 100x. That'd be a $10,000 profit. Or if you put in $1,000, that'd be $100,000 and $10,000 all the way to a million. But how can you do this? Well, the key definitely is getting in early. And one way to be super duper early is to use crypto sniping bots. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create one so that you can buy these coins before other people. I'm going to show you all this as a blockchain developer myself who works this technology on a daily basis, who has done exactly what I'm talking about in this video. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything that I'm talking about in this video today and increase your skills so that you can increase your income, I can show you how to become a blockchain developer step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. So a couple quick pieces of housekeeping. I'm really congested because I'm getting over a cold, but I want to make this video for you all anyways. And then number two, obviously nothing I'm saying in this video is going to be financial advice. I'm going to show some different cryptocurrencies in this video, but I'm not telling you to buy or sell any crypto based on this information. And as always, you know, investing in early crypto projects is highly risky. You should never do this with your own life savings. All right, so let's start with the basics. Like what is sniping in the first place? Well, basically it's buying a cryptocurrency before anyone else. What that means is buying the cryptocurrency as it's created as soon as it starts trading on a decentralized exchange on the blockchain. So we're not talking about waiting for a coin to get listed on a centralized exchange like Coinbase or Binance. We're talking about DEXs like Radium, Uniswap, all on chain. So you've got to do this directly on the blockchain. That's the benefit of being a blockchain developer. But let's just look at an example, okay? So uh, let's take this coin like Pepe. All right, this is one of the top meme coins on top of the Ethereum platform, currently at an $8 billion market cap. So I remember when Pepe first launched, um, I, unfortunately, I didn't buy on day one. I wish I'd implemented the strategy I'm showing you in this video at that time. But let's look what see what happened if you'd snipe Pepe on day one. Okay, so I can't actually zoom in this low. But if I have my mouse around here, you know, there was an opportunity to get on Pepe around the $100,000 market cap. I'm not going to take the time to pull up the one minute chart to see what the actually first block was. But let's assume it was just around 100k. If you were able to snipe Pepe at $100,000 market cap and you held it to today's value, that'd be an 80,000% return on investment. So if you've done it with just $10, that'd be $800,000 and 100 bucks would be 8 million. Now, the likelihood that you would actually invest that and watch it to ride to those current valuations is pretty low. You probably would have sell before then, but you still could have gotten the 100x that I'm talking about from the premise of this video. And one way to do that is with sniping. And to truly snipe, again, you have to get in when a coin basically is first created. All right, that's step one. But then step number two is whenever that coin starts trading. And you can see that by watching for the liquidity pool to get created on the decentralized exchange. So what is liquidity pool? Well, basically that's uh, the reservoir of money where somebody puts the new coin paired with whatever the trading coin is. So if you're on Ethereum, it's typically wrapped Ether. If you're on Solana, it's usually wrapped Sol. And they put two of those things with equal weighting inside the liquidity pool and the coin starts to trade. So you want to watch for that thing to get created. And the good news is you can watch the blockchain for that. So just for example, on Ethereum, Uniswap version 2, you can see... Uh, like the factory contract, you can actually look at the events and you can see that a new pair uh, is created at events logged. We'll come back to that here in a minute. Now, there's so many different strategies for doing this. There's different blockchains that you can use. There's different decentralized exchanges that you can use. And obviously there's zillions of cryptocurrencies out there. I'm gonna talk about some pros and cons of each of these strategies, but let me first talk about what you don't want to do, okay? So you can find new pairs directly in the blockchain for free you know, with websites like Dex Screener, okay? You can basically click on new pairs. You can click on the chain that you want to do. It can be on Solana, all right? It can be on Ethereum. It can be on an Ethereum layer two, like base, doesn't matter, okay? But basically you can click on the new pairs tab, all right? You can look at the age, all right? Sort by that. I can see one was created 16 minutes ago. If you go to Solana, obviously coins are getting created like pretty much every single minute. And you can also do the same thing over on pump.fun. So again, you can do this on multiple blockchain. You can do it on multiple decentralized exchanges. I know some coins are launching first on pump.fun. You can snipe them there. Basically, all the principles that I'm going to talk about in this video apply to each of these strategies. You have to just kind of refine them to pick what works for you. But going back to this, here's what not to do. So again, you can go to Deck Screener or whatever Explorer application you like. Look at the new pairs that are coming out, okay? And then just 
it lo- open all of these and then spray and pray some crypto across every single coin. All right. That's definitely not the best way to do it for several reasons. You might get lucky, but probably not. All right. So here's how you increase your likelihood of success. So number one, if you do this approach and you're just manually buying with your wallet, all right, then you're not as early as you possibly could be. Again, you want to buy the pair when the pool is created. So on the blockchain, that's actually going to happen before it shows up on these websites because these websites are indexing from the blockchain. They're slightly behind what's actually happening on chain. You want to buy before they even get listed on websites like DexScreener. Number two is if you're just spraying and praying like this, okay, you're not going to have anything that's actually protecting you against rug pulls, okay? There's different tools, which I'll show you in a second, which you can actually plug into a sniping bot to keep it from buying rug pulls or at least reducing the likelihood that a coin's a rug pull. Nothing's ever 100% sure. And yeah, some of these websites will put security information or rug pull checking on it, but it's usually not until after the coin has started to trade for a little bit. And also, last but not least, Obviously, what you don't want to do is just throw a dart, pick one coin, and put your entire budget behind it, okay? Because that's, you know, your one shot. If your coin moons, awesome, but most likely it's not going to. So when you're doing this, what you want to do is take a very small budget, I'm talking very small, and spread it across multiple bets and hoping that one of those with some additional checks will actually work out and produce some type of return that's going to pay for all the losers. Because again, everything that you invest could go to zero. All these new coins are just, you know, brand new. But what you want to do is take a very small amount, spread it across multiple, buy it at the very first block, and then also have some type of automated checks to reduce the likelihood that you're investing into some type of rug pull operation. All those things together are going to increase your likelihood of success. So let's look at how we can automate all those things with some code to create a sniping bot. But before I do that, I do want to say one thing. You know, there are sniper bots out there that are pre-made software that you can use, okay? Most often they're like Telegram bots, okay? Now, Why would you not want to use that and actually create your own bot? Well, you can use one of those, but you have a lot of advantages whenever you're hand rolling your own bot, okay? So number one is that they're custodial bots. So you're sending your cryptocurrency to really somebody else's wallet they control, and you hope that you're actually going to be able to get your money back. Now, the, the bot may not be a bad actor, but if you have a technical failure and you can't get your money back, well, of course, that's a problem. Sometimes these bots can be slow and buggy, all right? They also take fees. All right. They got to make money somehow. But if you code your own, then you don't have to worry about their fees. And then finally, also, you have to work within their predefined rules, whatever the setting is on their bot. But if you hand roll your own, then you can make, you know, whatever customizations you want. All right. So let's talk about the coding setup for a sniper bot. So the good news is the code for a sniper bot is relatively simple compared to other types of bots you might build for blockchain. So why is that? Well, really, all you need is one file. You just need one script that runs on your computer that can do this, okay? You don't have to create smart contracts on the blockchain. You don't have to create a program for Solana or anything like that. You just need one file that runs JavaScript that can do the sniping, okay? So obviously, first, you're going to need some type of wallet. So you want to create a key pair. I'm not talking about a MetaMask wallet. I'm talking about a Phantom wallet. I'm talking about a key pair, which is a private key and an address. Okay, you want to be able to save that address in a private place, Uh, probably a .env file on your computer, because if you ever put this on GitHub, you never want to do that. Somebody's going to steal your money if you push that up to that. Now, always, when you're creating one of these, you do not want to use a a wallet that you already use for other crypto. You want to start with a fresh wallet and you want to fund it with the bare minimum because if somebody ever steals that private key, they can clean you out. So anyways, you want to hook this up into your script. All right, you can use the .env library to create the separate file. You can just install it with Node.js. Again, we're going to do this whole thing in JavaScript and that's going to be your wallet where you can put in some gas money plus whatever funds you're going to purchase with to do the buys. Now next, in JavaScript, you've got to have a way to talk to the blockchain to do a couple things. Number one, listen for pools whenever new coins are created, and then number two, to actually buy the coins. And if you decide to sell with your bot, then you can also program the selling as well. So to do all these things, then we need a JavaScript library for that, all right? Because JavaScript doesn't natively talk to a blockchain. You need a special library for it. So if you're going to use something like Ethereum or an EVM compatible chain like Base or Avalanche, Polygon, whatever, uh, then my recommendation is Ethers.js, okay? You can just look at Ethers uh, version 5 or version 6, doesn't matter. Just look at the documentation, you'll see how to get set up with that. Basically, it's going to let you talk to the blockchain from your script. Now, if you're on Solana, uh, then the Solana version of Web3 is definitely going to be the way to go. 
you can see the documentation right here. All right, so the first thing that your bot needs to do is look for new tokens whenever they're listed on exchanges. So again, what you're gonna want to do is look at whatever DEX it is, look at whatever smart contract actually tells you whenever coins are created on the exchange. So for Uniswap, I'm just going to Uniswap version two. I know it's the, the factory contract. A factory is something in programming that creates new things. In this case, it creates new trading pairs. Okay. So I can actually look at the events here and I can see pair created, pair created, pair created, pair created. This is every single time that a coin gets listed on the exchange. So what I can actually do in Ethers.js or if you're in Solana, you can use Web3. Uh, you can basically subscribe to events that lets you find out in real time, whenever these new things are created on chain. If you want to get really advanced, you can always listen to the mempool, but that's outside the scope of this video. So what I'm going to do in my code is I'm actually going to watch for those things to get created. I'm going to create a function that does that. And whenever the new coin comes in, I am going to buy. Okay. So how do I do that? Well, it depends on what exchange you're using. So in this entire process, the documentation for that particular exchange is going to be your friend. So if you're on Uniswap, you want to look at, you know, version two, version three, whatever, or Radium, you want to look at the documentation and see how do I implement a swap? Most docs are going to show you that. So here's Uniswap. It's like how to implement a swap right here. It talks about the router. It shows you the code in JavaScript for how to do that. You can just see how you set up the tokens here, swap exact tokens for ETH. Obviously, you're probably going to be uh, the other way around, swap exact ETH for tokens, but you can look at all the other functions listed. It'll list that in the documentation as well. So once you've got those two things done, that you can listen for new pairs created, and then you can actually buy that, what that's going to set you up for is a basic sniper bot. As soon as a pair is created, you can automate it to instantly buy it. Okay. Now that's probably going to get you wrecked if you just turn that thing on and buy every single thing that gets listed. Okay. Again, what you want to do is implement some type of you know, security checks. So you need to set some type of rules that's like, hey, do I want to buy this token or no? You can custom program your own rules, or you can also look at third-party APIs that can actually analyze the tokens, right? So things like Token Sniffer, they have an API that's going to give you any security issues. Uh, Go Plus Security has one as well. You can basically make an API call to examine the token before it starts you know, trading. Uh, you can also look at other things like bubble maps to see if, you know, the certain address has any other associated wallets with it that might be a past scam or something like that. You, you can create your own recipe to like check on these tokens before they go live to see, do you want to purchase this thing or not? Now, finally, let's talk about actually selling the token, okay? Because, you know, this is where things can actually be pretty easy, okay? When you're sniping, it's actually buying that's the hard part. OK, basically try to be the very first person to buy or one of the first, you know, few people to buy in the first or second block. Selling is actually the easy part. So if you want to make this thing really, really easy, you know, you can basically have access to the wallet that you're sniping with in a browser based wallet or even a mobile wallet as well. Like if you have your private key for the sniper bot in a MetaMask wallet and also in your bot, then you can buy with your bot and then just sell inside of MetaMask without having to write the software to do this. Now, earlier I said, don't use a MetaMask wallet. What I mean is you don't want to take an existing wallet that already has lots of crypto in it and then also use it for your sniper bot. That's a bad idea because if somebody found that private key, then they could clean you out. But if you created a brand new wallet only for this purpose, you can put the private key in both places and have access to buying and selling in an automated way and also a manual way, okay? Because Again, there's always work to be done to code a bot to do it what you want to do. Buying is the hard part. If you just do that, you can sell manually at whatever point you want to. Now, that's assuming that you're, you know, buying and holding for, you know, more than two blocks. Okay. If you're trying to get out within a couple blocks, then you're probably going to want to automate some type of selling logic. But if you've gotten through the point of actually watching for liquidity pools and then doing the security checks and then doing the buy then you're probably sophisticated enough to program the selling logic as well. But if you want to make things simple, you can always sell manually. All right, so that's an overview of how crypto sniper bots work and how you can automate this process and code one yourself. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Are you excited to try this? Do you actually want to see content on this channel on how to actually create one of these types of things step by step? If so, I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below and subscribe. And if you want to take action on everything that I'm talking about today, but want to get your coding skills up so that you can do this, then how can you get started today? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can see my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. 
And if you like those videos and you want to take the next step, or hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step from start to finish over at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.